a very good morning to all dear my students of ketek high school and junior college so student which period yes it is english period and in english what are we going to do revision yes revision for what students for a final exam yes we are going to do revision for a final exam okay so student are you all ready for your final exams yes for before that what are we going to do we are going to write all the question answers how many times yes you have to write them 3 3 times and where you are going to write in your english cw but now this time where you are going to write back side no you are not going to write at the back side from the front side only you are going to start writing okay student why because we have finished our total syllabus okay what have we done we have finished our total syllabus so you are going to write it from the front side okay now what is our first question what are we going to do yes first question is answer the following question in brief okay you are going to write the answers in brief now see i have given you questions okay so you have to write how many times yes three times okay student now let's go to the first question okay now what is the first question why does the compiler request the audience to switch off their mobile phone okay from which lesson is this yes that is from 3.2 compare a program okay so i am reading the answer listen the answer carefully okay see the compiler requests the audience to switch off their mobile phones so that they can give an individual attention to the creative expression of the youngster and not get distracted by the other preoccupation and ring tones okay student got shall i repeat it once again okay i'll repeat once again see answer is the compiler requests the audience to switch off their mobile phone so that they can give an individual attention to the creative expression of the youngster and not get distracted by the other preoccupation and ring tone got student now okay now we'll go to second question now what is second question second question is how is the vocal tradition different from music okay the answer is when vocal or instrumental sounds combined in such a way as to produce beauty of forms harmony and expression of emotions is called music while vocal tradition is to make its musical sound with the voice especially words with a set tune okay student got it okay i'll repeat this also answer once again okay when vocal or instrumental sounds combine in such a way as to produce beauty of form harmony and expression of emotions is called music while vocal tradition is to make its musical sound with the voice specially words with a set tune got student now okay now let's go to the third question okay now what is the third question which amazing quality of the lamp does the compiler highlights yes what is the question which amazing quality of the lamp does the compiler highlight 
from which lesson yes the same lesson comparer of program okay now i'll be reading the answer okay the compiler highlights that the lamp not only dispel dispel means disappear disappear darkness but also leaves a way for a thousand other lamps to be lit with its flame got student yes okay once again okay i'll repeat it once again see answer number 3 is the compiler highlights that the lamp not only dispel dispel means disappear darkness but also leaves a way for a thousand other lamps to be lit with its flame got student now third wala okay now we'll be moving to which one to the fourth one okay what is the fourth question who were the other members of the author's family living in the same house okay now from which lesson yes very good a crow in the house yes very good so what is the answer yes i'll tell you the answer also okay author's grandmother and his grandfather were the other members of the author's family living in the same house yes who were they see i'm repeating the answer again okay author's grandmother and his grandfather were the other members of the author's family living in the same house got student okay now let's go to the fifth question now fifth question is what what action of the authors show that he loved kaiser see i am repeating the question once again what action of the authors shows that he loved kaiser okay from which lesson yes same lesson a crow in the house okay now the answer to this question is the author brought the injured crow kaiser home and despite grandmother's being unhappy about kaiser's mischievous the author never got upset about him or thought of getting rid of him when he died the author dug a grave in the garden and buried kaiser there along with all the clothes pegs and toothbrushes these action of the author show us that he loved kaiser see once again okay i'll repeat never mind okay see i'm repeating the answer once again okay the author brought the injured crow kaiser home and despite grandmother being unhappy about kaiser's mischievous the author never got upset about him or thought of getting rid of him when he died the author dug a grave in the garden and buried kaiser there along with all the clothes pegs and toothbrushes these action of the author shows us that he loved kaiser okay student got now let's go to the next question next question is what mention mention the various places from where the brook flows okay what is the question mention the various places that the brook flows okay now from which yes poem 3.4 poem which poem yes the brook see in the question itself brook is said so naturally it is from the poem only okay now answer to this question is the brook flows from the dwellings of coot and hans and ferns a town 20 tropies a village hills ridges 
several bridges and Philip's farm. Okay, from where does this brook flows? See, I am repeating the answer once again. Okay, the brook flows from the dwelling of coots and herns, the ferns, a town, twenty tropies, a valleys, hills, ridges, several bridges, and Philip's farm. Okay, got student? Okay. Now, which is the next question? Question number seven is which? Yes. Was Disraeli trying to give a scientific reason? Yes. From which lesson is this? Disraeli. Yes. Anyone? Yes. Think before you speak. Okay. Now, to the answer for this question is C. No. Disraeli wasn't trying to give a scientific reason. Because he just wanted to draw our attention to the fact that human psychology also suggests that we should speak less and listen more. Yes. See, I'll be repeating the answer once again. Okay. No. This really wasn't trying to give a scientific reason. He just wanted to draw attention to the fact that human psychology also suggests that he he that we should speak less and listen more. Okay, got this question? Uh, question number seven ka answer. Okay, now let's go to the question number eight. What is the question number eight? What is the importance of asking the question? Is it useful? Yes, from which? Same lesson. Think before you speak. Okay. Now, answer is it is important to ask. It is useful. Why? Before speaking, because only if our words benefits the listener and comfort someone, then only we should speak. The word should be spoken. Okay, student. See, I'll be repeating it once again. It is important to ask. It is useful before speaking because only if our word benefits the listeners and comforts someone, then only we they should be spoken. Then only the word should be spoken. Okay, student. Got question number eight. Now, let's go to the question number 9. Okay. Now, what is the question number 9? Who does the poet invite to join him? Yes. From which lesson? A poem. Yes, this is poem. Which? Under the green, green wood tree. Yes, this question, question number 9 is from the poem. Under the green wood tree. Okay. What is the question? Who does the poet invites to join him? So answer is the poet invites all those people who love nature and are ready to shun their ambition and appreciate life in nature to join them. Okay. What answer? See I am repeating it again. The poet invites all those people who who loves nature and are ready to shun their ambition and appreciate life in nature to join him. Got answer? Yes. Now the last one. What is the last question? What message does the poem convey? Yes. What message does the poem convey? From the same poem which under the greenwood tree. Yes. The answer is the message conveyed through this poem is that if one wants to live a peaceful life without tension, enemies and problems, he should spend his life in nature wherein he would be happy and relaxed. He should forget all his desires and rejoice in the glory of nature like a free bird. Ok. 
ओके वॉट लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट मैसेज डज द पोएम कन्वे येस आई रिपीट द आंसर द मैसेज कन्वेड थ्रू दिस पोएम इज दैट इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू लिव अ पीसफुल लाइफ विदाउट टेंशन एनिमीज एंड प्रॉब्लम्स ही शुड स्पेंड हिज लाइफ इन नेचर वेर इन ही वुड बी हैप्पी एंड रिलैक्स ही शुड फर्गेट ऑल हिज डिजायर्स एंड रिजॉयस इन द ग्लोरी ऑफ नेचर लाइक अ फ्री बर्ड गॉड स्टूडेंट ओनली फॉर टूडे दिस मच ओनली ओनली टेन क्वेश्चन आंसर सो वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू डू यूर गो यू हैव टू राइट ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एट द बिगने ओनली आई टोल यू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू आर गोइंग टू राइट येस थ्री टाइम्स ओके स्टूडेंट गॉट ओके थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स